What are the best barrel-proof bourbons out there right now? Let's get right on into it. What's going on, everybody? Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker, bringing you guys my best and favorite barrel-proof bourbons on the market right now in 2022. In December, we're hitting the end of the year, and these are my favorite barrel-proof bourbons. But before we get into it, guys, I want to thank you so, so much. We just hit 1,700 subscribers, and we're climbing. We're climbing. We could possibly hit that 2,000 mark by Christmas, but that is up to you guys. And if you guys want your chance to win a bottle of Eagle Rare, you're going to hit that subscribe button down below because at 2,000 subscribers, like I keep saying, we're giving away a bottle of Eagle Rare. But let's get out of the soppy stuff, and let's get into a bottle number one. Bottle number one goes to Maker's Mark BRT02. Now, I'm lucky enough to have both of these offerings, but O2, in my humble opinion, is the better bottle out of the two. Now, I do know that some places are seeing these still dropping. Um, so they are MSRP around $60, $70, depending on the area. They are hitting that $100 mark. I wouldn't go any more than $90 on this bottle, but this is one of my absolute favorites of the year so far. Sipping it slowly because it is darn good, and I don't know if I'm going to get my hands on a second one, but this Maker's Mark BRT RO2 is a darn good bottle. Bottle number two goes to Barrel Bourbon Batch 31. Now this, this has been a staple on my shelf. Absolutely love this bottle of bourbon. It is absolutely fantastic. It is a blend of, I believe, uh, five, six, seven, nine, and 15 year old whiskeys. And man, oh man, this thing packs a punch sitting at 111.2 proof. Going back to the maker's mark, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you the proof. This is 109.4. So we're jumping up a quite a bit in proof. And this one right here shouldn't push any more than is $79, $85. You're going to be in heaven drinking this bottle. It is absolutely fantastic. As you can see, I'm getting down to the bottom of this one. I've given a couple of samples away to people, and they absolutely love this one. And I've turned a couple of other YouTubers onto this bottle because it is just that darn good. Bottle number three, going back to a weeder. This is going to be Larceny. Barrel proof batch C922 coming in at 126.6 proof. So we are jumping back in the highest of proofs pretty much on my shelf. Um, as you guys know, a subscriber Mike sent this one to me and um, I did the tasting and oh my goodness, from what I can tell without doing the blind of the other two uh, Larceny proof, barrel proofs, this one right here is, in my humble opinion, the best out of the three. And um, I, I absolutely love the pour of this. This was absolutely fantastic. You know, these are MSRP right around $60. They, I, I can't believe I saw one the other day for $140. I almost laughed in the store uh, uh, the store owner's face when I saw the price because it was just that astronomical to see a bottle of this caliber going for that much. But hey, what are you going to do? You're just going to you walk out of those stores. But that's bottle number three. Bottle number four. Bottle number four is one that should be a staple, a legitimate staple on everybody's shelf. That's Wild Turkey Rare Breed coming at 116.8 proof. Now, this bottle right here fluctuates in price all the time. I know a lot of people can get it for 45 I struggle to get it for under 60, but when I do see it for under 60, I make sure to pick a bottle of this up immediately. It is a fantastic neat, and it's one of my absolute favorites to drink, uh, to mix with as well for a high proof bottle of juice. This one right here, 116.8 proof, like I just said. Um, they're always on the shelf. Uh, the prices do vary, like I said. But it's just a darn good mixing bourbon, and I absolutely love having that higher proof and the flavors of that wild turkey coming through in a nice cocktail. Bottle number five goes to Barrel Vantage. Now, this is a finished bourbon from Barrel. It's finished in three different oaks. You got American oak, French oak, and Mizunora Japanese oak. 
and it's a blend of all three barrels put together and it's a beautiful blend it really really is i know a couple of my uh uh subscribers have said that they don't really like it but i know a lot of other subscribers have said that they do absolutely love this barrel vantage coming it does come in at 114.44 proof so it's right in the middle of all of these right here and it's darn good you're gonna get a complex vanilla it's not your just traditional sweet vanilla or your toasted vanilla there is a complexity to this vanilla that it's just an absolute beautiful beautiful bottle of bourbon and there's so much more going on in this barrel there's tropical fruits there's coconut and stuff like that so if you guys have been on the fence on barrel vantage i highly recommend picking up a bottle of it I usually do top fives, but I have two more bottles that I cannot live without on my shelf. And uh, let's get right on to them. Bottle number six. Bottle number six goes to Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered The Younger. And it's a four year MGP for $45. And it's barrel proof straight from the barrel, you know. And I absolutely love Smoke Wagon bourbons. The regular uncut unfiltered is darn good, but some places that bottle pushes a hundred dollars. This I've seen everywhere uh, where they're selling it for forty-five dollars and not a penny more. So I make sure to pick these up because this is just darn good MGP juice. It is young. Don't get me wrong, it's young, but for a forty-five dollar barrel proof. It's darn good for what it is, you know. I mean, you have so many other uh, distilleries out there putting out barrel-proof bourbons that are younger than this for more money. So I don't understand why everybody is on the fence about it for being the price that it is. Oh, it's too much. It's too young. That's what it is. It's not too much, but it is young. I think $45 for a four-year MGP is... It's going to be the standard because MGP is running out of their higher... Uh, age stated barrels so we're gonna have to get used to this unless you guys stop buying bourbon let it age a little bit and uh, then we can get back into it but I don't think anybody's gonna do that because I'm not gonna do that and last but not least bottle number seven you guys know all about it let's get them blue note juke joint uncut unfiltered it is my absolute favorite bottle of bourbon and oh my goodness I, I see when I have to pick it up because I just, I, I have to be an advocate for this distillery. I absolutely love it. And I think that this is probably one of the best bottles out there on the market right now. So I have three on my shelf, slowly going through this one. I'm slowly stopping it and cracking this one open. This one is the NJ Speakeasy. This one was the one down in Dallas that I got. And this one is my local liquor store, Delphia's pick. So. They're fantastic, all three of them. I know if you guys see them, you guys need to pick them up because they are just that darn good. So guys, that is going to do it for my favorite barrel-proof bottles of bourbon right now on the market for 2022. These, One of these, or a couple of these, might make it into the whiskey of the year. But without further ado, this has been Nathan with the Everyday Drinker. Cheers. Cheers.